So, our next company coming up to the stage, coming into the tank as it were, is a company that's, again, looking to revolutionize and disrupt one of the largest and oldest industries in the world, really. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and bring up Mr. Kevin Bidner from Hotel Communication Network. Thank you, Jeff. Moses, one of our boys. I'll try and do it in five minutes and do a good job. I'm Kevin Bidner, founder of HCN, the Hotel Communication Network, and we're the company that's gonna disrupt one of the world's largest industries, travel. Think Amazon for travel. We're going to in install a global platform in the travel industry that will create a marketplace. Now think if you had the opportunity to turn back time and invest in Amazon when they just started selling books. That's what I'm here to show you today, HCN, the Hotel Communication Network. Uh, this is my second major startup, the first one, uh, achieved a 95% market share in two major industries. I left to start this when we IPO'd with my partner. That company sold two years ago for 500 million. This will be a whole lot bigger. There is a massive vacuum in the travel industry in your home away from home, the hotel room. Right now, 85 million millennials are heading into the travel industry. They are now 50% of the workforce, the largest cohort in human history, and the largest spending cohort in human history. Um, and we're trying to reach them with a book and a phone in the hotel room. That's what doesn't add up, and that's the big opportunity here. Uh, enter the guest room tablet. By putting this in the guest room, it's a billboard in every room that reaches 100% of the guests with proactive information. But even more important, 85% of the people, and that's millennials and baby boomers alike, are picking up those tablets and using them every day. It's the engagement that is the foundation of this opportunity. It transforms the guest experience. Guests pick it up because it's easy to use. It's right there, fully configured for the hotel, the city, the convention. Everything you need in one device and you don't have to download anything. One of the best things about HCN is all the work we've done, all the foundations we've built with the major brands in their biggest properties. That's how we know this is going to become a global rollout. The solution is now installed in 10,000 rooms in San Francisco and Chicago in the biggest hotels in those cities. Those pinnacle accounts have won us a ladder straight to the C-suite in Hilton, Marriott, and Intercontinental, the three largest brands on the planet. And how do we make money once they're installed? There are a dozen great ways and a dozen more will evolve as we, as we work through the platform. But first of all, the hotel is the big winner. Just one application that you see there, we ask the guests when they want their room made up the next day. 5 to 10% opt out of housekeeping. That more than three times pays for the tablets. And there are so many more monetization opportunities, including the delivery of food to the rooms in an industry that's now getting rid of room service, uh, city advertising, convention advertising, etc. Um, the big game isn't installing the hotels. The big game is installing critical mass in every city and creating the marketplace. That's the big idea. Hilton, Marriott, and Intercontinental represent 60 to 70% of the rooms in every city. If one of those big majors rolls out, all of them will. This will be a generational uh, rollout. 40 years ago, it was in-room TVs. 20 years ago, and in five years, they did 10 million rooms. 20 years ago, it was in-room internet, Wi-Fi. And this generation, it's the in-room tablet. We have got the top influencers in the industry on our team. The former CIOs of Hilton and Marriott are our best, our best spokespeople in those accounts. And they are the people that are getting us right through to the top C-suites. So it's all about rolling out intercontinental Hilton and, and Marriott and getting into every room everywhere. That will create a company that will do 500 million a year, 10 times my last company, and 10 times or more the exit. And right now we are selling, there's, the, there's our C-suite. Uh, right now we're in our, uh, we've just kicked off a $5 million round. It's your opportunity to invest in HCN at 35 cents a share when we're still a $30 million company. We close one of those three majors and we will IPO at 10 times our value today. We close all three 
and we're in the multi-billion dollar territory. I'm Kevin Bidner, thank you very much. Well done, well done, Kevin. Well, I'm gonna jump in because I love your product. I've seen this before, by the way, well done. Last time I was with you, I said your slides didn't look like the value of your company and you've changed that. I was listening. You, you did a good job, so congratulations. I also, we have 59 television shows on C-Suite Network, 106 podcast shows. I wanna partner with you. I wanna be able to be a part of this rollout. This is smart as hell. This is like brilliant. I've actually seen your product in the hotels at I think at a Weston or Nico. And it's just unbelievable to be able to utilize that. Don't have to call down, let the phone ring 20 million times before someone answers you and then they hang up on you. Um, I get to touch the people, order things. It's, it's, it's a fabulous deal. And this is spot on. So nice job, very Thank nice you, job. Jeffy. Thank you. Yes, well, well done. Definitely like the business model. I've actually been in hotels that have it. So uh, I've, I've seen it firsthand. Great. The question I have, you talked about the importance of concentration around cities so that you can provide deeper information and opportunities and offerings. How are you planning to partner, is what I would ask the question, with the different capabilities, travel industry, et cetera, within those overall cities? Highlighting that would help actually even improve that overall value proposition that you're bringing forward. Thank you very much. Okay, great job, Kevin. Uh, super impressive. Uh, I love, and I, I have also spoken to you in the past, and. I love that you brought up your history. I think there's a lot to be said for evidencing past success. I think very often investors, yes, they need to like and understand the deal, but very often they invest in the people and in the team, and your accomplishments are, well, in that industry unparalleled, and the strength and the depth of your board of advisors is also unparalleled. The only thing, and I may have missed it, uh, it's just the penetration so far today, I wasn't clear on. I know that you are in rooms now, mm -hmm. and I would just have liked to know, like, proof of concept, uh, where exactly we are, but maybe you covered it. I, I, I didn't catch it. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, th thank you, Kevin. Nice presentation. We, thank you. I've seen you a, a couple of times now with, um, with your, your presentation, and one of the things that uh, I'm trying to understand, because you talked about rev share possibilities, uh, and and so then, then I start thinking, okay, if, I, if I'm a restaurant and you're sending people out maybe to um, other delivery services for food, does that take away from the internal room service or is that an issue with them? Or do you have to customize each particular hotel based on the preferences they have or don't, don't have? Maybe, maybe they don't want you to do that, but th then the other question is, if, if they said okay and you're getting rev share on food from their customers, do you share in that revenue stream with the hotel also? So that's, we're, that's what I'm thinking is how does that all work? Thanks, Kev. Just a two second answer. Hotels are canceling room service. We deliver. The ones that have room service, we help them get more money on each order. Thank you. I guess I'll be the, a little more skeptical here than the rest of the panel. Um, a, if I'm a guest, I don't really want this for me. It's, it's, I want to be able to turn it off for sure. Can you turn sure. it off? Yes. And then it seems like many of these hotel chains are just going to create apps that you can download as a guest that will be infinitely less expensive than paying for this uh, technology. And that app will enable them to even control it and personalize it even more. So I would think the competition is going to be just yes. hotel, large hotel chains creating apps, encouraging their their guests to download them, and that'll be an alternative. Thanks, John. Nobody downloads those apps. They all have them. JD Powers published it last year. Despite the tens of millions spent on those apps, 7% of guests will download them and use them, not more. Put a tablet in the room, everybody uses it. It solves the guest communication problem instead of the hotels having to wait for a guest and hope they'll download an app, which nobody wants another one on their phone just as an answer. Yep. They put those apps with loyalty programs and things like that. I think, I, I expect the penetration will be greater over time, but, yeah. but nice presentation. Hey Kevin, I just thought of another way we make money. So I have another show called Best Seller TV, which features best selling books and authors. Every month, you know, the people, authors, we all know this, Kevin, right? Burnt, we've got books. 
We, well, we, yes, thank you. You had me on your show. Yeah, I had a I, I, <laughs> great, yeah, great Kevin, Kevin's it. coming on in August. Yeah, in September. It's awesome. There we go. Uh, well, we'll feature their books the month they come out on the tablets, and they can buy them right through the tablet while they're sitting in the room because we've got a big business audience out there. So Amazon for we, travel. We're back in the book business. And we'll split some money there. All so right. Yeah. Love it. Sure. Great there suggestion. Give a round of applause. Before you go anywhere, so um, Kevin has also offered to donate a bottle of Johnny, Johnny Walker, Walker Blue. Blue. For everybody who fills out your form, we're going to go ahead and put it over at the booth 611, Angel Investors Network. Put all your information over there. Make sure you put your name, your email, and phone number so we can reach you if you win, of course. And then you'll get a bottle of Johnny Walker Blue. Of course, you have to be 21. Or over. Or over. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well done, Kevin. Good job.